this bike's massive. <laughs> That's my initial overall take on it is it's huge. It is fun to ride. Uh, there's so much power and torque. power is, is it is fun and it, it does go when you want it to go it's quite comfortable it's got a nice comfortable seat even actually for me I can reach the ground on it I can reach the handlebars on it it struggles a little bit doing 30s I don't mean it struggles it, obviously it can do it very easily but it's sort of raining that power in the whole time that you yeah it kind of tries to creep up on the speed so just a few things that I have noticed on the bike that I really like there's nice touches like the bolts that they've used they they've got a style and it's nice to see that they haven't just chucked anything on it. The cables are really nicely routed. You've got this one that's just tucked neatly here. All these nice cable clips that just keep everything really tidy. So that's that's really good. One of my favorite bits about this bike are these pillion pegs. I just think that's really tidy and, and it's just cool. It's a bit like a transformer. I'll put it back. So it's shaft driven and it's got this single swing arm. I like a single swing arm. It's a bit more unusual and it's quite tidy. Also, it makes the two sides of the bike look quite different. There's nothing terribly exciting under this seat. By the looks of it, you can put a single a single seat on there. There's nice touches like little vents in here as well. Got a nice tank clip under there. We've got a little plug in there, so that's Micro cool. cigarette lighter. Yay. It gets a lot of attention. Maybe people are more, more surprised or um, something that I am a smallish woman on a very large motorcycle. So there are some people kind of going, okay, right. There's some things that I, like, I don't like so much, like this thing here that covers yeah. this. It's tidy, but it's basically just a cover to cover your dipstick. It's got very wide handlebars. Well, by the time you've got the, the wing mirrors on the ends, and they are really good wing mirrors. They're nicely placed and great visibility with them. But when you try and either filter or get through a small gateway or park up and things, they're, they're, they're large. The suspension's too stiff for me. It is adjustable and I haven't adjusted it, so I can't pick a massive hole in that. It is a bike for people who like nice things. If you're quite a bit bigger and you like a showy bike and you want to cruise around on larger roads then it's probably great. I think it's great that it exists. It's an interesting bike and quite unusual and different. There we go. It's got a nice rumble. So it's got an interesting thing where you can't actually rev it in neutral. It has a, a deadener so you can only rev it like this. So once it's in gear, you can actually rev it. But you can feel that the, the bike is tipping when, when I do that. So it's quite interesting. When the bike's moving, it's actually fine to handle. It's really well balanced because it has a low center of gravity. Um, and it does corner. It's very long, a long wheelbase, which makes it very smooth in terms of going over sort of lumps and bumps. And the suspension's really good. But it does handle differently. Uh, I think when I first got on it, I was a bit taken aback that, <laughs> well, maybe not taken aback, but it was, it was a surprise that it didn't quite turn as I wanted it to or expected it to. Um, uh, there was a turnout of a, of a junction and um, I think probably because yeah, just because it's so long it's a bit like trying to drive a lorry rather than a smart car I guess so there's a impressive engine braking as well as you can imagine with an engine this big You've got a lot of control just on the throttle on whether you're going fast or slow, for instance. 